army to be victorious in battle, it is necessary to inspire its troops with confidence. Now, they must believe that the victory will be theirs under any circumstances. But to give an army confidence, they must be well trained. Training is the key to survival on the battlefield. Training is the key to the confidence needed to win that battle. Training is the key to victory. Yes, training is indeed the key to both survival on the battlefield and to winning the first battle of the next war. Since the days of the Roman legions, armies around the world have been plagued with the problems of training their troops under realistic combat conditions without risking lives. Firing blank ammunition in war games and relying on the subjective judgment of a battlefield observer seldom moved a trainee to want to be a better combatant. There was no personal motivation to excel during training exercises. Something needed to be done. A means to provide the realism of actual combat without the danger of killing or injuring participants or destroying equipment had to be developed. Laurel Electro-Optical Systems, under contract to the United States Army Project Manager for Training Devices, provided that answer to this dilemma. Utilizing space-age technology, Laurel EOS scientists developed and produced an eye-safe laser system that has revolutionized battlefield training. The development was the Multiple Integrated Laser Engagement System, or MILES. is a laser system which fires coated laser pulses of infrared energy, simulating live ammunition without the threat of injury to men or equipment. Although training is the key to developing highly motivated military units, past training at best has lacked many of the survival elements of realism. Many troops, without the battlefield realism of live ammunition to contend with, practice taking cover almost casually. But field tactical training with Miles has extended realism to its fullest without injuring anyone. Miles has been fielded with armies of many nations around the world and has become the international standard against which all other tactical engagement simulation programs are measured. For the United States Army, Miles is the keystone for their combined arms tactical engagement simulation program. It is highly valued in its ability to accurately assess battle outcomes and to teach soldiers the skills required to survive in combat and destroy the enemy. Miles solid state transmitters are easily attached to and removed from all hand carried and vehicle mounted direct fire weapons. They are on the rifle, machine gun, Dragon anti-armor missile, tow missile, and the law rocket. Miles equipped vehicles include tanks, the M113 armored personnel carriers, the Bradley M2 M3, the LVTP7. The Vulcan gun, the Chaparral missile system, the Stinger anti-aircraft missile, the U.S. Air Force A-10 aircraft, and helicopters, which when used to support ground operations, add an additional dimension of realism to the Miles training experience. On the M16, the laser transmitter attaches to the barrel just ahead of the front sight. The transmitter does not interfere with normal weapon sighting and is easily removed and reinstalled with alignment repeatability. All hand-carried weapons transmitters are lightweight and operate from self-contained, long-lasting batteries. A special torso harness and helmet harness carry the detectors worn by the participants. The helmet harness contains a wireless transmitter which relays to the torso harness near miss or kill signals received by the helmet detectors. An alarm located on the torso harness near the soldier's ear informs the soldier of a near miss by emitting two short tones. 
or a continuous tone for a simulated kill. The kill tone is purposely loud and annoying. To silence the alarm, the soldier must remove a key from the weapon transmitter and insert it in his harness receptacle. If he reverses this action in an attempt to use his weapon, the alarm again sounds. He is a casualty until a controller with a special key resets the soldier's harness so his weapon can be reactivated. To recreate an authentic tactical training condition, the appropriate battlefield equipment must also be included to ensure realism for the soldier. Vehicle-mounted, miles-equipped weaponry provides that realism. Detector belts are quickly and easily installed on sides of vehicles with 360-degree exposure to provide battlefield vulnerability. Since each type of weapon transmits its own unique laser code, the detector sensors are able to reject signals from ineffectual weapons such as M16 rifle fire against a tank. Laser signals from an anti-tank weapon picked up by the tank sensors will activate the hit or kill alarm as determined by the electronic circuitry. Strobe lights mounted on vehicles signal near misses, hits, and kills to the attacking units so they can gauge their effectiveness instantly. Near misses, hits, or kills cause an audio tone to be heard throughout the intercom system of crew-operated vehicles. To further add to the realism, Laurel EOS engineers designed a cartridge to simulate the smoke, flash, and sound of missile and rocket launchings. The Miles-equipped vehicles include helicopters. Since the Korean conflict, the use of helicopters has added another threat to vehicles and troops alike. Attack helicopters equipped with Miles devices for all onboard weapons present additional realism, including flash and smoke, when airborne firing occurs. Miles equipped helicopters are likewise realistically vulnerable to ground fire as well. With the Miles system, all aggressors are instantly aware of their efforts to knock off a helicopter when a smoke trail and strobe light indicate a kill. Also, near miss, hit, or kill audio tones are heard in the intercom system. With this kind of capability, the Miles training experience sharpens every sense of survival by vividly creating an awareness of the enemy's ability to cause you to become a casualty. As always, the exercise is under the direction of controllers. They carry a special controller gun transmitter, which generates universal codes to give him total versatility and control of the battle conditions. He is able to spot check sensors by firing near miss signals, as well as causing a kill signal to be fired at any vehicle or soldier to simulate artillery fire or landmines. He also carries a special key that allows him to reset the Miles devices after a kill has disabled them. This can also be accomplished remotely by firing a controller gun at a harness equipped vehicle with an optical reset option. Optical reset enhances Miles training exercises by greatly reducing reset time, thus allowing user units to spend additional time engaged in valuable and realistic training. This enables the controller to change battle conditions at any given time. Warfare is deadly. Training of troops is a serious business. The Miles system with its coated laser pulses makes training a realistic and valuable experience. Miles trains soldiers to their highest potential without the risk of life or injury. The personal motivation, the realism, the sense of accomplishment, all contribute to developing the best trained soldiers your country can provide. Miles soldiers strive for excellence in their performance by the dramatic results of cause and effect. Laurel Electro-Optical Systems continues to be the industry leader in tactical training systems with product improvements, worldwide logistical support, currently supporting Miles for the United States Army, 
Air Force, Marine Corps, Naval Sea Systems Command, and the Department of Energy with 29 field maintenance sites. New applications such as the Tank Weapon Gunnery Simulation System, or TWIGAS, which provide both precision gunnery and force-on-force -force tactical training, are continually being developed. Precision gunnery incorporates lead, super-elevation, time of projectile flight, type of ammunition, and resulting precise hit point. The crew can fire thousands of simulated rounds with no restriction on ammunition and operating cost or range safety. Other innovations are the Automatic Weapons Effect Signature Simulators, or AWES, for both the 50 caliber machine guns and the 20-40 millimeter gunnery systems, which will affect significant savings in blank ammunition expenditures. The simulated signature is produced by combining a combustible gas with an oxidant and electrically igniting the mixture. For the first time in history, the MILES tactical engagement simulation systems provide the soldier the tactical training tools to train in peacetime as he would fight in wartime. All right, men. Remember what you've learned. If you want to survive and win that battle, you must be at your best. Look, the bottom line is this. If you're doing your job, you'll live to tell about it. Be alert at all times. You cannot get too casual or cocky about training. If you are, you'll be easy pickings for a mild sharpshooter who can quickly put you out of action. <laughs>